Hey, I'm Thomas. I work in a create code review stage as a senior front-end developer, and I maintain the VS Code extension. And today I want to show you this really cool way how you could create an issue. This is prototype. Um, uh, this is not in the extension yet, but uh, I had an idea about a very really seamless way of creating issues, and I want to showcase it in this video. So you might know that when you open the extension and you can see your merge requests or issues, you can open the issue and see, you can see the web view and the description of the issue uh, in a tab. But the problem is that you can't really edit it, you can't create issues. And this showcase is mainly about creating issues. You would have to go to the, to the web interface and create issue from there. And so I, I came up with an idea where the extension creates a temporary file, and I'll show you how that looks. So there is a command, gitlab create issue. When you, or when you run that command, you get this weird temporary file generated, but to explain you what's happening, there are a few lines of help. This is a temporary file for your new issue description. The issue is going to be created when you save this file. The first H1 heading is going to be used as an issue title, and everything after this line is going to be in the issue description. So let's test that. I can create a heading. This is an issue, one, two, three, four, five. And what's really cool about this is that you can use the full power of VS Code. So for example, if you wanted to visit big for your issue, you can put some bullet points here. You can cite and you can create a few paragraphs. You could create, you could create links and anything. And you would see it, see it here in the Visiwik. And you just edit it as a normal file with, as you are used to in your VS Code. Now, let's, let's see what the, this feature does when you actually save the file. So I'll save it. And I would expect that it gets deleted because it filled its purpose, but I decided not to remove it just yet, but just for a reference so you don't get too scared. But you see that there is a message here for you saying, issue, this is an issue, one, two, three, four, five has been created. What you can do now, you can open it on the web and there is a breakpoint here, so I'm just gonna remove it. And I would expect that now I'll see this is an issue with all the goodness that you've created. And even better, this could be used in the same way for, for editing issues or merge request descriptions. It could be used for, it could be populated from a template. We do have uh, access here, of course, to, to for example, um, GitLab issue templates. So we could take the issue templates and just put it right into the initial temporary file and users can edit it as they want. So I'm pretty excited, even though I think it's, uh, it's not necessarily standard, but I think it would be, people would get used to it really quickly. And you can just create a new issue like this, create issue, this is the issue. Issue, you save it, done, create it. And that's all I wanted to show you today. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. I'll see you next time.